your girl i'm not even going to lie to y'all i'm so happy to be back be back oh let's talk about this shirt real quick like I wish I never butchered this shirt like this. Like, remember when everybody was wearing, like, holes and stuff in their shirt? <sighs> like, I absolutely love this shirt, and I freaking butchered it. Why did I do that? No, it has been the longest time ever since I've had a content video. But guess what? I have one for you, uncle. So, this video is pretty much on how I... Um, I know I already have a video on how I install my wigs, but it's kind of the same, kind of not. Um, I, I had a, I'm going to be honest with you guys. I had the hardest time with this wig for some reason. When I first brought, um, cause this isn't the one that I made. I actually made one like this as well, but this hair is from amazon if you guys want me to do a review on it i can but for some reason it would not lay this time like it did not melt i don't know what's going on it looks like it's i over plucked it right here i don't i don't know but i absolutely still love the hair itself i still love the hair itself very very curly and pretty let me get up on it so you guys can see. Very, very pretty. Very pretty. And when you guys, it's still wet right now, but when it dries, y'all, oh my god. I just wanted to show you guys how I pretty much install this wig. I hope you guys enjoy it. I miss you all so very much. And I think I'm kind of like on a roll, okay? Because I actually have another video coming for you guys as well. So you guys want to stay tuned. It's a story time, but I think you guys will be very, very interested. Especially with the people involved. So, like I said, I hope you enjoy. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye. Hey guys, so I'm starting off with two cornrows. I do not ever put more than two unless someone else is doing it for me. And I use the lighter color wig cap and then I'll just, um, you know, put makeup on top of it to make it my skin tone. Um, this cap just seemed to be like really tight or my head just got bigger. I don't know what the heck was going on. But you want to make sure that it's all the way down and that it's secure. Then I go in with my got to be free spray and you want to be careful with this because it does drip. So I always use my finger to stop it from running down my forehead. But I do spray a good amount of this on my head. And then I go in with the got to be ultra glued and I gel the mess out of my hairline and i put this all along my hairline i love this stuff i never used the yellow bottle but i think i want to try it just to see if it's a major difference everyone says that it is a major difference so i think i'm going to try it one day and you want to make sure that you gel all like your sideburns like the sides really good you want to gel that down because when you don't gel it down and then you cut the wig cap it starts to lift then you want to go in with your blow dryer you're supposed to put it on the cool setting but me i go back and forth so if you want to do it the correct way put it on the cool setting me i just don't have the patience when i feel like if i put it on cool it takes longer so i go back and forth between hot and cool here i'm just lifting it up to see if it was dry and it is it's staying in place and i just go along and i cut um there are some pieces that are like really stuck so here i'm cutting my ear like around my ear 
um, I just snip to the tip of my ear and then I put the rest of it behind my ear, if that makes sense. And here I just snip off the band and then I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. Then I am going to try the wig on. Now the wig looks crazy, but let me tell y'all, I'm going to get it together closer to the end. But right now, it's going to look like this bush, okay? Just bear with me. Um, I just tried on to see how the cap looks underneath of it and see if it looks okay, see if everything's aligned. And then I would take it off and make the adjustments that I need to going back in, trimming you know doing what i need to do and then i go in with my foundation and i just create pretty much like a bulk cap and i use a dense brush to apply the foundation and i think the foundation i'm using is 5420 i believe or is it 320 420 and um yeah, I just put this all along my hairline and then I do go a little further back just in case like I part my hair like a little further, you know, back and everything like that. And then I am going back in to see if I need to make any adjustments, if everything is good, Gucci, popping, intact, all that. So now that I feel as though everything's good, I clip the hair back and let's get to the glue. Well, first I have to apply alcohol. Get all the dirt and oil and makeup that I applied. Gotta get all of that off. If you don't use alcohol, you may have a hard time um, getting your lace to lay properly. So definitely use alcohol. I'm using Ghost Bond glue. And I just pretty much apply two coats of glue. Um, I go along the front of the cap well you can see the demarcation from the cap so i do in front of the cap for my first layer and then i wait for it to turn clear and then once that's done i go into my second layer and then my second layer i go along the front of the cap and then i go on the cap you guys will see how I do that. And then once I do on the cap, I make sure I do get my sideburns. Um, the sideburns, I do kind of get it on my actual hair, the adhesive. But trust me, you will be okay. Your edges ain't going to fall out. Your sideburns ain't going to fall out. If you remove your wig properly, you will be okay trust me you'll be okay everyone's like oh i'm so scared that i'm gonna rip my edges out no you're not if you apply it properly and remove it properly you will be fine now for me i have stopped wearing wigs a little bit because my like around my hairline i would break out really bad um, but I don't know, I don't know what that was from, but it happens every once in a while, not every time I wear a wig. You guys may hear Zoe yelling in the background. I'm so sorry about that. <laughs> she's a little hype. I don't know why she's not asleep yet, 
But here you can see where I'm actually applying it onto the cap. Make sure that in between coats, you let it dry clear first before you apply the next layer. And you can add up to three to five layers. I always do two though, because I never know if I'm gonna actually keep it on for the full two weeks. Here I am actually laying down the lace. I always start with the middle first and then I do my sides. Because if you do your sides first, like, it will just, like, shift all weird. It's just like when you apply lashes. Like, my strip lashes, when I apply them, I always have to start with the middle and then do the ends. The outer corner, then the inner corner. That, that's how I do things. But, yeah, always do the middle. And never use your fingers. Always use, like, a rat tail comb or like the tip of your nail even though that's kind of pushing it but um i do take alcohol for the spaces that i misjudged like if i put glue too far down um i'll just use the alcohol and just wipe it off and you also will have some pieces that you know didn't get um glued down so you can just go in with your glue and clean it up real nice I'm going to just comb the hair back because when I apply my scarf, I don't want no hairs to be sticking down because I didn't lay the baby hairs yet. So I just leave my scarf on for about 10 minutes and I'm going to go in and fix this bush. Okay, we going to fix all of this. Like, what? You going to be like, what girl? The hair do that? Mm-hmm. Listen. This hair is really good. So you seen the bush. We're going to wet this down. This is just water and I believe it's Cantu leave-in conditioner mixed in the water. And then I take a big old paddle brush and I comb through, sis. Okay? You comb through because we about to get these curls popping. Okay? Poop. Can you see it? Poop. Popping. You gotta say it like that this is curls leave-in conditioner and this is the blueberry bliss one it smells so good and i usually use this on like my natural hair but because my curl pattern is like non-existent at this point i have nowhere else to put it so i go in with my shea moisture curling smoothie 
and I apply that to my hair too. Look, look, look at the transformation, okay? The transformation. And then you take the brush and go through. Girl, for real. Yes. All right. So we're going to just do this all over. I do put the hair in four sections and I just repeat the same step. The water with the leave-in, the leave, yeah, the leave-in conditioner, and then the curling smoothie. That's it. That's it. That's nothing, y'all. That is nothing. Only a few products. Sis. And you just want to finger comb and just make it look pretty. And then you use a brush. Yes. 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 Now, you can't just use, like, a regular type of brush. Me, I use this paddle brush, and I don't just brush it straight down. Like, I go at, like, a little angle a little bit. And this clumps the curls together. I like when my curls are clumped. They look more juicy, you know? Like, yes, juicy. So, yeah. So now I'm going to reveal the lace. Now here I had an issue. I didn't like the way the lace was looking at all. Like you could see it. I didn't like it. It just didn't melt like how it did the first time. So right now I am going to go in and cut baby hairs. I usually don't lay baby hairs, but we got to hide this lace because mm -mm, we, we can't go out the house like this. So... I am definitely going to get some baby hairs. Now, I suck at baby hairs. I suck at laying them. I think it just looks weird on me when I do it. But we we gonna, we going to make this happen because we ain't got no choice. We can't go outside like this. Mm -mm. You're not supposed to see it. You're supposed to be like lace wear. I can't be like lace wear because somebody's going to be like oh, right there. You know, right there, sis. It's right there. On your head. So, I'm using Gorilla Snot. The orange bottle. I think it's like max 10 hold. And I am trying to get this baby hair together. So, and you can get this brush here. That's a little comb and then the brush at the other end. You can get that from your local beauty supply store. And I think Walmart has them now too. But swoop swoop 
swoop. Yep, see, look. I'm like, what the hell did I just do? Like, I'm so confused right now. I have the hardest time with doing baby hairs. Like, y'all have no idea. Like, I'd be like, what in the world am I doing? Like, how do people even get theirs to be perfect? Because I'd be having a hard time. See, it just looks weird to me. Even looking back right now, it looks so weird. But anyways, I go in with free spray to just hold it in place and put the scarf back on, okay? Leave it on there for about 10 minutes and then I just take it off and voila, we about to reveal. Here we go. Fuck it up. Oh, thank you.